Who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about them? That's why I made this small series here to give you at least a brief overview on the most important data of their political systems. And today it's about the Solomon Islands. And that's already the official name of the country, just Solomon Islands. The form of government is a parliamentary monarchy in the Commonwealth of Nations. The head of state, once again, is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in her capacity as Queen of the Solomon Islands. She's that since February 6th in 1952. She's represented by the Governor General of the Solomon Islands, Sir David Vunagi. He was appointed on July 7th in 2019. The head of government is Manasseh Damukana Sogavare, Prime Minister, appointed on April 24th in 2019. The Foreign Minister is Jeremiah Maneli, appointed on April 25th in 2019. On the Human Development Index, they rank 153rd place. The Solomon Islands are a sovereign Pacific state since 1978, consisting of almost a thousand islands. With a population of 600,000, mostly Melanesians, the Solomon Islands are one of the larger of the Pacific countries and are characterized by a great variety of languages. Agriculture, logging and fishing strongly dominate economic activity, while tropical timber and palm oil exports have exacerbated environmental problems. Four-fifths of the population live in rural areas. It is planned that in 2024 the Solomon Islands will graduate from the least developed countries category. Even after the completion of the Regional Assistance Mission to Solomon Islands Peace Mission, which ended in 2017 and made a decisive contribution to political stabilization, the development deficits widespread in the region are particularly noticeable in the Solomon Islands. The consequences of climate change are strongly noticeable through an increase in extraordinary weather events such as cyclones and represent an immediate and existential threat. Cyclone Harold last caused great damage in April 2020. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.